Hey everybody, doesn't it look different? <laughs> Wow, I have made a lot of progress in the last couple of days. Um, most recently, I've painted the ceiling, painted the floors, painted the walls. There's still a little bit of painting to do kind of over there and over there. <laughs> and I've got a little patching to do on the brown wall. Um, today, I have just put in these three shelves, these three <laughs> shelves. This is an Ikea. Um, thing very uh, universal kind of thing that I've used in a lot of different ways um, if you saw my earlier videos I had two of them against this wall laying down horizontally and that really works really well with these but I decided I had run out of cubbies to put the stuff in so it was time to call in the third shelf so uh, we kind of did some quick rearranging in the house to uh, set that one free so that we could use it in here. So you can see I've got a door here to kind of create a visual barrier between that and the room on the other side which will eventually be a bedroom um, and I think I'm going to add another one right there just to continue that so I have sort of a wall on that side where there's no wall. So at the moment what I'm doing I have gotten a lot of the fabric, the recycled fabric, uh, into place. There's still some more boxes. So I'm not really quite sure what to do with the rest of it. But um, since I've worked in like 20 different art media in the last 20 years, 30 years, whatever, I don't want to admit how old I am exactly. Um, I have a lot of art supplies left. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff, but I have a lot of stuff left. And I want to kind of uh, use this row and the top to put the rest of the art supplies in a way that kind of makes sense to me, which if you know me at all means I will be arranging things by color. So that's what I'm up to now is just kind of going through some things, uh, empty them out some boxes, trying to find ways of putting things together in a way that makes sense to me so that they're all accessible when it's time to go play. And so that's what I'm up to. I was a professional jewelry designer for many years, and so I have over and over again downsized my bead collection because that's been a long time ago. And so I have downsized it to um, what you see here. And um, I'm also really good at buying really fantastic beads. So there's a lot of really beautiful stuff in there, which is kind of inspiring to get back into it and play. So, is this wonderful aspect of kind of cleaning out the collection and putting it away in a orderly fashion that's also letting me know what's there and it's um it's lighting a spark <laughs> at the same time because oh i've got all these beautiful things to play with well let's get busy let's play and you know this is this is all kind of happening simultaneously as my mom is in hospice we were able to visit for about an hour every week which is not quite exactly what I expected in this process, but COVID, you know, what can you do? So um, I find that keeping busy is really helping me right now to kind of not dwell and not be frustrated and not, you know, get in a, an, an ugly headspace. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, organizing and putting the goodies into the shelf and, you know, do what I can do. And through the magic of video, look at this. <laughs> so I took some time and organized the recycled cloth and put that here. And then I organized my bead collection 
and that's in here. Organized my paint collection, and that's in there. <laughs> Organized my cottons, and they're up there. They are, um, this is a combination of commercial cottons on this row, and then I have dyed a bunch of cotton, and that's what's in that top row. So yeah, a lot of progress has happened here, and I am really happy about it. <laughs> turned into uh, yarn for weaving. Um, all of this is, is resource in some way or another. So <laughs> it's um, the goal actually is to get this to the point where um, it's much more manageable because I've got a lot more boxes, stuff that didn't fit here. And so the goal is to hopefully kind of get some of that crazy amount of stuff under some sort of orderly control <laughs> to be able to recycle these bits and pieces into things that really are fun and exciting for me or to sell or whatever but basically this is like recycle grand central <laughs> there are a lot of really cool raw materials here so i'm i'm surprised by how quickly it was possible to make a space that was so chaotic into a space that I think will be really useful. And that gives me a lot of hope because it's easy to look at a mess and be overwhelmed by it. But um, once you really do dive in and make it a priority, it's amazing what can happen and pretty quickly. So I am absolutely loving it. I pulled out a number of artwork pieces of mine from over the years. This one well, that one, that one, that one, and that one are all ones that I did. This is a, a photograph that I really love that I bought years ago. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely loving how this space is coming along. Not done by any stretch, but still, we've made a lot of progress up here. So, that's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, um, I've got a couple of other projects, like I want to put pegboard there. I've got, um, like there's an all wall in my office that has the really cool 3D tiles. I'm going to put some of that up here. I have some left over. Um, I'm going to do a quilt design wall. I used to have one of those before and found it very useful. I'm not sure that I'm going to be doing a lot of quilting, but I would like to um, at least have that option. And... <laughs> I, the, the relief sale, the Virginia Mennonite relief sale was this weekend. And I found myself um, reminded of what an amazing thing it is to start with a stack of fabric and make a quilt from it and donate it to the Mennonite relief sale and, and just watch and see what the response is to it. And that's money that's raised for charity. And that I think is really, Kind of a, a special thing so uh, I see my neighbor is trying to start a, tr a tractor of some sort so I think um, the quiet is probably about to vanish but yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking I want to have the option of being um, able to do a quilt in this space um, I'm just really looking forward to um, getting a few more bits and pieces in place, and then spending some real time up here. I think this is gonna be um, space that will be very useful this winter, and I, I'm really feeling good about how much progress we've made. And <laughs> Yeah, so the biggest surprise, um, I've had art and glass. I used to, to create art glass. And I've had these things 
squirreled away in boxes for quite a few years. Um, I had quite a few of them on display when we had the restaurant and some in my gallery that I had after the restaurant. And um, I've had these things squirreled away in, <laughs> in storage for quite a long time and it's been a lot of fun to discover them all over again. So that's been a fun part of this process. So I am, this has all been very joyful because I've had a lot of stuff squirreled away that I wanted to use and I wanted to get back into, but I was finding it difficult because it was in boxes and because space was limited and because I didn't really remember what all was there. And so now it's easy to come in and look and just, you know, I, I can walk right to all the greens, you know? I mean, this drawer is full of beautiful green beads. And this drawer is full of gold and lime beads. I mean, being able to have these things at my fingertips is really, really cool. And, you know, it's, it's taken a long time because I was uh, a professional artist up until about 2011 or so. And I've not had like an artist space that really felt, um, that felt right to me since then. And so having this space again means a lot to me. And I am really looking forward to the good things that can come out of here. So, so um, stick around. I'm gonna, um, you know, there's a couple of other projects and I will um, try to make sure there's a camera rolling. It's, it's I, I forget sometimes and get things done without having the camera on, but there's some cool things happening up here and um, I had some ideas of things that I would like to make. And not just capsule wardrobe stuff, but stuff to make to sell actually. And I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. So, but yeah, I am really loving how this feels to have order come out of the chaos. And surprised that it probably didn't take as much work as I feared it would. So, that's maybe a little bit of a life lesson to myself that, yeah, it looks, it looks bad on the beginning side of something like this, of a project that involves this much work, but it's probably not going to be as bad as I fear it's going to be, you know? So that's, that's a good takeaway, I think. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.